Tonight, a fifth Ebola patient is being treated on U.S. soil. Health experts brought the freelance journalist to a Nebraska hospital earlier today. He will stay in isolation, and so far doctors say he's in good spirits. This is a Liberian man treated in Dallas is getting worse. So far, this Ebola outbreak has killed 3,400 people in Africa. After meeting with health experts, President Obama says U.S. airports will step up efforts to contain the virus by screening passengers. Fox 17's Megan O'Halloran live at Nashville International Airport tonight to explain. Well, Stacy, these new security measures will serve as the first line of defense to keep any new cases of Ebola from entering the United States. Some U.S. lawmakers are even urging President Obama to initiate a travel ban to the affected countries in West Africa. And while we're in prevention mode, some local hospital workers are doing their part, too. The closest hospital to Nashville International Airport is TriStar Summit Medical Center. While the chance of an Ebola patient coming through the doors of the ER is highly unlikely, the hospital is ready just in case. I trust every person that works here. Um, doctors, nursing staff, techs, anybody that's here, um, we will do what we can. Just around the corner from the ER inside this closet, doctors say they have all the necessary equipment to treat infectious diseases. They also say they would be able to handle something as serious as the deadly Ebola virus. I went through the room the other day with one of the nurses, and we've got the, the, the shoes from, and the, and the, com, and the um, uh, chemical gear, masks, uh, and, and gloves. We, we've got everything we need, uh, and probably more so. Hospitals have isolation reverse flow rooms to quarantine and treat potential patients. Medical staffers say they are monitoring the latest information on the virus and regularly undergo routine training and disaster drills to prepare for highly unusual circumstances. Working in the ER, we don't know what's going to come through the door. We don't know what's going to come in walking in. We don't know what's going to come in by ambulance. We're just, we're open to anything. ER doctors say the threat of Ebola is just like any other deadly infectious disease. And while there is no cure as of yet, the medical team here has the necessary equipment and technology to treat the symptoms. Containing Ebola is considered a top priority for national security right now. Feds are trying to decide exactly how they will incorporate that in the passenger screening process. In West Africa right now, they are conducting temperature checks. We're live from Nashville International Airport tonight. Megan O'Halloran, Fox 17 News. Well, we continue to get new information on this story all the time. You can get the very latest 24-7 at fox17.com and check out the latest on the Ebola outbreak right there as well.